And finally, the Johannesburg Stock Exchange surged past 81,000 points, reaching an all-time high on Wednesday, marking a 2% increase. South Africa's largest stock exchange hit 81,000 364 points for the first time, driven by strong performance from local stocks. Tuesday saw a significant uptick in trading activity, with 36 billion rand in transactions, leading to a 3.5% gain, closing at 79,749 points. The financials index notably rose by almost 7%. Additionally, the South African rand strengthened to below 18 rand against the US dollar on Wednesday, reaching around 17 rand at 92 cents, a 0.5% increase following a 1.1% gain on Tuesday. Cartesian Capital founder and managing partner Anthea Gardiner offers further insights into these market developments. The last two days have seen a rally in the market that I have not seen in two decades. Not only has the local equity market reached a new all-time high and even briefly breached the psychological 81,000 level on the all-share index, but the bond market has also seen an unprecedented rally with the 10-year government bond now yielding 11.22% from a pre-election level of 12.5%. Our inflation print came out today at 5.2%, which doesn't really bode well for interest rates as the Reserve Bank's target is 4.5%, but seeing the RAND below 18 level against the US dollar has undoubtedly helped sentiment. And just a reminder, we are net importers of goods, and so the stronger RAND should help to keep inflation under control. I believe there's been decent buying from local investors today, but my feeling is the majority of the buying is coming from offshore investors who really have been sitting on the sidelines knowing that our market is cheap and just waiting for a catalyst. So now that the elections are out of the way, we can only hope that consistent electricity supply, fixing of some of the state-owned enterprises and market-friendly policies will help to continue to drive the market higher.